Hello again, Bill Aiken from Lincoln Electric and welcome to Series 5. In Series 4 you might remember we looked at all the functions of the cycle menu, which will assist us in this series. In this series I'll explain how to calibrate the machine. When starting the machine for the first time, it is a necessary step to take for quality welding. Okay, to calibrate the machine we need to get into our configuration menu. And to do that, we select manual on our selector switch. Because we're in cycle, we need to change that to configuration menu. From this, then we turn the voltage encoder to calibration. From calibration, we turn that on. After we turn it on, then we press the, the, the selector button. As you can see, trigger is now activated. Next step is to remove the gas nozzle. Then we cut the wire flush to the tip. Next step is to place the tip onto the job, close to the earth. Then we press the trigger and release. Calibration is now complete. The display shows L, cable inductance, and then it also shows R, our resistance. To exit out of calibration, it's simply taking it out of manual mode. If polarity is reversed, this step must be repeated. For cable compensation, you should not adjust them after calibration in most cases. But sometimes if the welder is not comfortable with the calibration or the results are incorrect, you can directly adjust them if the welding conditions are similar. This is the main reason why you have to possibly modify it. This feature is really more suited for separate wire feed units if you need to adjust. Well, thank you very much for watching Series 5. In Series 6, we'll look at how to record, load and lock programs.